Today's been fun. It's been one of those days that hasn't been as challenging as launching the network to begin with. But it's been rewarding in the sense that seeing all the different ways with which what we're doing in Emotional can soon become streamlined and faster and quicker and get all the posts posted and all the videos recorded and the chance to bluntly let everyone know that Jesus loves you and that he's as real as the bird I hear singing and the person I see walking up the stairs across from me. As real as you are, as real as I am. And that's the whole point of emotion is to discover not just that God speaks, because anyone can discover that, and not just that God speaks audibly, because anyone can hear that, but to find out for yourself, <laughs> to know with all your heart and soul and mind and strength that not only is Jesus real, he's alive and living in you. I uh, am excited to think that every day, almost without fail, God is waiting for me to open my eyes and to look and see that he's there watching me all through the day and all through the night. Enjoy your life. Whatever may be your task, work at it heartily from the soul as something done for the Lord and not for men, knowing with all certainty that it is from the Lord and not for men that you will receive the inheritance which is your real reward. Colossians 3, 23, 24. Jesus died so you can enjoy abundant life, not just the days you are off work or on vacation or when you get to go shopping or golfing, but every day of your life. He wants you to enjoy going to the grocery store. He wants you to enjoy driving the kids to school. He wants you to enjoy paying the bills. He wants you to enjoy cleaning the house or mowing the yard. You can enjoy life if you determine to do so. Say, I'm going to enjoy every aspect of my life because Jesus died so that I could have joy unspeakable and full of glory. You know, a lot of people accused us in the Jesus movement of being freakish, <laughs> which hence the term Jesus freak came about, because we would say things like if something came up, hey, bro, wow, cool. You mean, you mean you just, you got in a wreck? Wow, I, what's God going to do? Isn't this marvelous? This is an opportunity to exercise faith and to see how, you know, the trials that are working out an eternal way to glory in you is going to accomplish a, a feat that you couldn't do of your own, but God is going to do it through his Holy Spirit, and he's going to work it in you and make you so much more better than you are. And we used to talk like that, and we used to walk like that. And, you know, we were raving lunatics, little children running around babbling, having fun. But, you know, that's an abundant life. That's a fun life. That's enjoying and counting counting it all joy that fall into diverse trials and tribulations, as James says, knowing that the working of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you might be a man of God fully equipped. And as much as I enjoy those times that I could say, boy, walking in spirit was like, you know, completely different than walking now, there's a balance because you want to be likewise minded that you can relate to people and share with them a direction that they might not think to go so that they too could participate not only in knowing God or about God not only in watching you blabber and babble and act like a child in a candy store but that they could see that there is something unique and different about you that they can see that there's something about this Jesus people and Jesus in them that isn't some weird possession of Holy Spirit, but rather a dispossession of ourselves to let God live in us. That we would no longer be us who lives, but rather it would be the peace of God, the love of God, the joy of the Lord, the smile that grins from ear to ear and hurts the ears. <laughs> the glow that I talk so much about that. I don't see that on people that tell me they got the Holy Spirit, but boy, I sure saw it in the Jesus movement. 
the glow that lasts and causes those who see it to want and desire to find and get what it is they got. Because when you are and when you know, you're like a lamp lit that God uses to draw men unto Jesus. And that's what it should be. In every situation of your life today and in every circumstance, it should be a difference that you are compared to the others. You should be the light, the one who isn't perplexed when <laughs> you get news that you're dying of cancer or that a loved one perished or that <laughs> a tornado's coming. You don't lose your cookies. Your cookies are stored in heaven. And because they're inscribed in the book of life, you have no other security you need than to know that God loves you, God has you, God keeps you, and God will give you a joy unspeakable if you just remember who you are, not what you are. God bless you today. Oh, and keep reading.